Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome for the first time, I guess. But the, today's video is going to be all about my favorite build right now in Albion Online. This is a build that I use more than any other right now. It's one that I really, really, really enjoy in PvP and I can't wait to share it with you. So let's jump into the video and I'll show you what it is. I've made a ton of silver lately with this build. Really love this build. So, it's a Wildfire Staff build. It's a pretty basic build. There's nothing too terribly complicated about it. It's pretty simple to use but it's very, very effective. So let's jump into it and show you what I got. First things first, we got the Hunter Hood. This is a classic, you know, one size fits all kind of helmet here. Nothing really too crazy about this thing. You know, you got the Reflect. I mean, everybody knows by now what it does. If you're a new player and you don't know, it reflects 85% of incoming damage as magical damage. It also increases your damage resistances uh, by 55 for three seconds. Pretty solid little ability there. Some things can't be reflected, as you'll see later in this video. Uh, and then you just got this first passive here, which just increases your damage and healing output. Second item on the list is the Cleric's Robe, which is just going to be whenever you take damage, then you become invulnerable for one and a half seconds. It also increases all of your damage and healing cast by 20%, which is very important to this build because it just makes you do crazy damage now. Last little ability here, last little uh, weapon, if you will, last weapon. piece of equipment is the Soldier's Boots. These are basically just my healing and a little bit of uh, increase to defense. Nothing crazy here. Any plate boot will do in this slot as long as it has the healing spell. Nothing too wild, nothing too crazy to ride home about. For my offhand, I'm running a Tome of Spells because it increases my energy and it also increases energy re regeneration, also reduces cast times, which is very important with this fire staff here. So, overall, pretty solid. You're going to want to use that because this is a very energy-hungry build if you're doing a lot of fighting. So, definitely, definitely look into that. For my food, I've got beef stew for the 13.5% increase, increase on damage. Just, uh, once again, another damage-increasing metric food item, if you will. i got healing potions for those moments when I'm like, oh no, I need to heal because I'm going to die. And then for my cape, I have the Keeper's Cape, which once you drop below 70% health, you go berserk, increasing all your damage by 50% for 6 seconds. There again, just further compounding the amount of damage this build does. So let's look at the weapon skills. It's pretty basic. The first Q, the first W, and the e ability of the staff. Which, okay, so the first Q is just like a single target Q. Does really, really well. You can basically spam it. It has a 0 second cooldown. This is what you need to be doing a lot. Spamming Q, as you'll see me do in these fights. Now, this ability is a Flame Blast, so once you hit them with it, they take 105 damage immediately, then it explodes 1.6 seconds later for 368 magical damage. It also hits enemies all around them. So, that is very, very, very good, uh, especially if you can also cast this on yourself, and if you cast it on yourself, you can increase your move speed by 60% for 1.6 seconds, which is good if you have to chase somebody down, but I really recommend usually casting it on other people. But... Very, very solid, especially in Corrupted Dungeons where you can uh, take and cast it on somebody as they're running past these mobs that explode and drop magma on the floor and do very, very well with that as far as getting extra damage. Now for the E, this is the ability that probably sets this staff apart from most other fire staffs. So you're basically going to re uh, do a huge ball of magma. It's going to roll towards your enemy, deal 631 magical damage, but if you look here, enemy players who are not mounted will take 12% of the max health as true damage over four seconds, and this damage can't be reflected. Remember how we talked about with the Hunter Hood, how you couldn't reflect uh, certain damages? That's one that you can't reflect. So if they've got their Hunter Hood popped, you can roll that bad boy in there, and it's going to get them anyways, and they can't really reflect that. Super solid build, super simple build, easy to play, as you're going to see. You can start it up as a new player. It doesn't require a ton of spec. Very, 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 very fun, as you're going to see in these clips I've got. So enjoy. All right, so the first Wildfire Staff clip I got here is a Claymore user who's trying to bait me into fighting him, as you're going to see. This is five minutes into him invading my dungeon. I was in the bottom when he invaded, and now we're all the way up here. He's behind this mob. He's up here in the corner. You can sort of see his name there. And he's trying to bait me into killing this mob and coming for him, of course, which we don't want to do because it's going to drop our health and drop our advantage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the bait around backwards. I'm going to go bait him because I'm attacking this mob until it looks like I'm fighting it. And then I'm just, you know, noping out of there, healing with my boots and running out to a situation where I have a little bit of an advantage here because I'm going to a room 
where I know kind of where the mobs are laid out at. I know kind of what's going to happen here. And so I'm going to put myself up in this corner. I'm going to inspect him real quick. I see he's a Claymore user. Okay. Put myself up in this corner, hit him. He's going to go over here and use his abilities and pull these mobs, all right? Well, now I'm just going to pop my invulnerability, and then I'm going to hit him, whittle him down a little bit, slap him with my, you know, all my abilities here, and I'm going to roll out. The mobs are just hammering him. One more Q. He's dead. Get him out of here. Very, very easy. This guy was just trying to bait me into a situation where he knew he could kill me. I didn't let it happen. I pulled him out of that situation and baited him into trying to attack me, going all in on me. And we made like 400k because of it. Very, very nice. Not too shabby of a kill. Nothing to it. Basic gameplay there. Uh, really could probably have done that with different builds, but I really think the Wildfire Staff just helped me pull that one out there. Love this thing. And I'm going to show you another clip where we get a better kill on a guy running a Battle Axe, which is a common build you'll face as well. Claymore's Battle Axes. Uh, Cursed is a super common one. I don't have any clips of me killing anybody with Curse. Maybe I should get one of those. If you do, if I get one, I, you'll see it in the YouTube short. Um, let me know in the comments if you've been if you've been watching my shorts and enjoying them. By the way, I've been uploading them like once a day, trying to stay on top of that. But let's get into the next clip. All right, so now we're headed towards a really fast fight. This is going to be super basic, super simple, over in uh, like thirty seconds or less. Going to fight a battle axe user with this build. Now we're going to inspect him real quick. We're going to see that he's got a ton of health. He's running a battle axe. I said, okay, this is going to be no problem, and we're just going to go ahead and take care of this guy here. First things first, we hit him with a W, then we pop our invulnerability to get rid of his, to escape his sort of damage. He's trying to burst a bunch of damage on us right there, and we pop the invulnerability to escape that. Now we're going to chase him here. We're going to, he's running away, and we're going to try and go ahead and pop our boots and chase him down and hit him with another Q uh, so that he doesn't get out of the fight and heal up and then try to hit us again. So here we go, catch him with this Q. This is why I love these cues. You see there that he had the reflect pop. So I didn't do anything but hit him with a couple cues. It did hurt me a little bit, but it also hurt him. And now we're going to use our E right there. Did you catch that? We used our E, and it's going to do massive damage. Watch his health bar here as we hit him with the E and as we go in at what we're doing here. The other cues are doing pretty good damage, but then the E slaps him for like 400, and then we just hit him and continue to annihilate him as he is just unable to do anything. And he realizes he's dead. He's trying to run away. But that Q, having that super long range there, allowed us to kill him. And that's why I like that Q. Uh, really, really solid there. And I think, I, did I hit him with a Q or was that a W? Hang on, let me look. So, yes, it was a Q. Plus the W exploding probably would have killed him anyways. But hit him with that Q, super long range, nothing to that. That's going to be a build you're going to face a ton, by the way. Battle axes are pretty popular because they're not very expensive builds. And new players, they're pretty new player friendly. So you're going to see those a ton in Stalker level corrupt and Thunder level corrupt and the rest of it. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Hopefully that helps you kind of show you just some of the uh, utility of the Wildfire Staff. I love this thing. You're going to see it more on the channel. That's a guarantee. Also, try and follow me over on Twitch and uh, stick with me to subscribe on YouTube. I stream here and there sometimes. So just hope you enjoyed today's content. And I'll see you in the next one. Drop a comment. Let me know how you enjoyed the video. What's your favorite weapon in Albion Online? This is my current favorite. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Have a great rest of your day.